I am, of course, like many other people, sad to see him go. Uh, But I think it was a very bold move. When I saw it, I was like, you know, dumbfounded. I wanted to see if it is better to have loved and lost than never to have loved at all. John! John. Oh, God. Oh, God, John. Oh, John, honey. John, honey. The big secret is out. What was your reaction when you first learned that Big would be passing in the very first episode of And Just Like That? You know, I am, of course, like many other people, sad to see him go. Uh, But I think it was a very bold move. And I think, you know, the title of the show is And Just Like That. And it's open to interpretation. But to me, that means in a moment, your life can be transformed. Something wonderful can happen. Something horrifying can happen. And certainly there could be no more uh, kind of a, a blow to the center of Carrie and her life than than robbing her of Mr. Big. And so I just think it was, I think it was very bold. And I think it starts the it, it 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 starts the new series out on a on such a foot that you you, you see we're not going to be treading water we're actually going to be sailing into completely uncharted waters and we hope you come with us the way you did the last time i'm so sorry i'm so sorry i'm so sorry charlotte he had a heart attack I know, I know, but if you hadn't been at the concert you would have been with him and you would have you would have done something and then he would be alive now <laughs> What was it like for you when you first learned the news? What was your first reaction to Michael Patrick King taking the show that way? And also your reaction to that scene. Like, were you on set when Sarah Jessica Parker and Chris Noth filmed that? No, I was not on set, no. I was very nervously sitting at home wondering how it was going. Um, I, when, when Michael Patrick told me this, which was quite some time ago, um, I was I was nervous. I was sad. Of course, I love Chris. Thankfully, he's fine. But you know, it's hard because you you never really want this to happen in life, just like you don't want it to happen in 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 fictional life. But on the other hand, it is actually something that does happen in life. So, from that perspective, I did feel I did I could see the possibilities of. Mm-hmm of trying to deal with that. And, you know, we are still a comedy, but we have always dealt with with serious things. And I knew that Sarah felt very strongly about it. And I wanted them to, to you know, it was a bold, it was a bold vision, you know? Yeah. Um, and very, very terrifying, of course. And I mean, I was so worried. And I mean, I don't want to put words in his mouth, but the first thing he said to me was like, I felt terrible. I had to make them do it over and over again. I felt so bad. I mean, and when I saw it, I was like, you know, dumbfounded. I just thought it was so beautifully done. So beautifully done and such great acting from both of them. Um, You know, I'm not going to cry, but I could because, you know, I am Charlotte. But you know, it, I think it's it's beautiful, and I understand that people are are, are having a lot of feelings. Carrie, everything is just beautiful. The funeral director asked me if I wanted to rent a coffin. You know, since he's being cremated. Right. Big would never want to be in a rental. He wouldn't even rent a car. You got to tell me whose idea was it for Big to pass, and why was it important for this new series? It was mine because I wanted to see if it is better to have loved and lost than never to have loved at all. And I wanted to do an amazing uh, arc of for Carrie and Sarah Jessica, because I knew she could be amazing playing both the dark and the light. I wanted everyone to see that and I wanted to write for that. But really, also, the thesis of the show has always been, and Carrie says it in the finale voiceover of the last series, everybody thinks it's about Mr. Big calling and saying, I'm coming, but really what the voiceover is, the most significant challenging relationship of all is the one you have with yourself. Mm. 
And if you have that and then somebody else comes along, well, that's fabulous. So this is now the significant challenging relationship of her life is the one she'll have with herself and others. We'll see. And then the friends. The other thing is, you know, these friends, these three friends to me, they're so solid and they're so golden. And then I thought the friendships really show up in the hard times. And I, I really wanted to see what happens when your friends show up for you in the most difficult thing that can happen to you in life, which is a death. It's very real. We all experience loss. And I, I love that you took the show there truly, but of course the fans are already having some big reactions. <laughs> hey, Lauren, let me tell you, the fans had some big reactions when Aiden left. So we're right on brand. There was a whole war about the fact that Aiden moved on. And I just want to remind the fans, I love you. Chris Noth is not dead. Mr. Davis. Chris Noth is right across town somewhere doing a Zoom. He's fine. This, I love that people are upset. It means they care. They felt lost, which is what's a, it's fiction. So it's fun to feel sad if it's not real. It's fun to, to feel pain if it's not, if, if it's fortunately not your pain. Fictional right. pain is what art's for. It helps us get through real life sometimes. Agreed. Well, uh, Peloton has released a statement and their stock has taken a dip. What, did you expect this big of a reaction? Um, first of all, no. Okay. <laughs> I mean, look, the reality is Peloton's in the show because I wanted to show that big was current. Lockdown. And that big was, was healthy and alive and current. And the, the most current thing that I know about everybody right now, including myself, is we're on the Pelotons. Yeah. Our show has always reflected what's hot in the world, whether it be Manolo Blahniks or Pelotons in Big's case. Yeah. So he's on a Peloton because that's the premium bike for home exercise. That's the Gucci of home exercise. That's what Mr. Big would have. And he's on that bike. And Big that's, have why, the best. that's why it's in the show. It reflects reality of his reality.